People quite often ask for more technical information about the Golf, so we've put together this short video which goes into more detail. This Mark II Golf Track car started its life in 2007 from a bare shell. For the first seven years it was developed as a naturally aspirated 2 litre 16 valve car built on a limited budget with development focusing on any areas that track driving highlighted as weaknesses. The end of 2014 the decision was made to turbocharge the engine in search of extra power. This resulted in a step change in performance. Shortly afterwards it was christened the Pinderwagen by Dale Lomas whilst chasing it on a Nürburgring track day. The added pace highlighted several deficiencies in both the handling and high speed stability. This was the catalyst for many of the recent improvements. This video aims to detail those developments. All the fabrication and installation was done by Nige. The lightweight fibreglass bonnet has been modified to work as a reverse flowing duct. Air is sucked through the intercooler and radiator, out of the vent and into the airstream passing over the car. The custom fibreglass wings have been moulded from modified standard versions with an increased width to give extra tyre clearance for the wider track. Mesh is fitted to prevent debris being flicked out of the opening in the trailing edge which aids the evacuation of the high pressure air from the wheel arch. The aluminium side skirts help separate the air flowing along the side of the car from the low pressure region underneath. This made lifting the car very difficult. To address this, sill jacking points have been re-engineered. Drive is through the front wheels, which are Team Dynamics Pro Race 1.2s. Brakes are high-spec six-piston calipers with performance friction PFO8 brake pads operating on floating discs with aluminium bells. The front split has gone through many iterations and is constantly being developed. It's currently based on 12mm marine ply with scoops to feed additional cooling to the front brakes. These two supports have been fitted to address the splitter flexing when driving above 140 miles an hour. The engine is a 2 litre 16 valve ABF which was fitted to the Mark III Golf GTI. The big end bearings were showing signs of damage due to the increased loading and were replaced with upgraded sputter versions. It has integrated engineering rifle drill conrods connected to Wozner 9 to 1 compression forged pistons. The cylinder head has been mildly ported and has three angle valve seats. The original valves are used with a 30 degree back cut to aid flow. The engine block, crankshaft, main bearings, head gasket, head bolts and camshafts are all standard. Due to rocker cover pressurisation issues after fitting the turbo, a breather system has been developed. The brace was fabricated to dampen the high frequency vibrations introduced from the tubular exhaust manifold and turbocharger. This is a TDO4HL-19T journal bearing turbo taken from an old Volvo T5. It's connected to a 3 inch downpipe and twin silencer exhaust. The gearbox is driven through a helix paddle clutch with a VR6 cover plate. It is fitted with a plate differential, standard ratios and drives the front wheels through Mark III Golf VR6 CV joints and drive shafts. All engine fueling, ignition and boost control is managed by a Mega Squirt 2 ECU. The dashboard is flopped to reduce reflections in the windscreen. The extremely comfortable and supportive Cobra Sebring Pro Seats and the 6 point Schroth Profi 2 harnesses keep the occupants secure.
An aluminium flat floor blends into the fiberglass diffuser. The heavily modified welding roll cage is tied to the front and rear suspension, A and B pillars with additional safety bracing. The electrically operated hydraulic power steering pump was taken from a Citroen Saxo. The aluminium rear wing was added to improve diffuser efficiency. The build process has had its fair share of issues along the way, but overcoming these challenges has resulted in an incredibly capable track car. There was no specific end goal for the Golf, however continuous development led to performance on a scale far higher than ever anticipated.